first of all, I don't think we've an interesting situation. I think I heard somebody say we've never we haven't had an election since I think 1928, and I'm just repeating what I heard from a fairly credible source, but I don't know, where you did not have an incumbent vice president. That's a long time. And uh, so that's very unique. I think a couple of things, and, I, and it may be just biased on my point. It may not necessarily be a general point of view, but it's which I hope the country is looking for. If nothing else, the experience over the past six or seven years, and not just Afghanistan and Iraq, but North Korea, Iran, Chavez in Venezuela, Hugh in China. When we elect the President of the United States, he or she better have some peripheral vision and understand, and maybe America, that we are interconnected in ways in the 21st century, unlike most citizens ever really appreciate. And somebody needs to have that peripheral vision to understand that connectivity and to be respected almost from the day they get into the office dealing with the political, the diplomatic, and the economic issues. I think that's really critical. In my mind, that obviously, you know. Second thing I think, I'm not going to make any comments on other uh, candidates. It's not right. It's not my place. I get one vote. Um, the other thing I think people are looking for is that there are a couple challenges out there that they just don't want problem. I think this time around, people are going to be looking, what's the solution? You've identified the problem. Be a little bit more specific about how you're going to solve it. So I think if I'm, I'm a voter, I'm going to take a look at that group out there and say, hmm, who's got the peripheral vision? Who understands that, uh, you know, no man is an island? Well, the world is growing smaller and smaller every day. Our place in it is changing dramatically, not just in the area of uh, diplomacy and the military, but in so many other areas as well. Who, almost from the day they take the oath of office, in addition to being president, but who, who might project a certain presence in the international community that people would respect? And in addition to that, I think people are going to look uh, for uh, somebody that can say, yeah, this is the problem, and this is how I think we need to solve it. I mean, everybody can talk about health care. You want me to give you a speech on health care? I'll have you standing on your feet by the time we're done saying, ridge, ridge, ridge. But I won't give you a solution. <laughs> okay? So I think, I think to that end, I think not, you know, you know everything they tell you, you got to focus on two or three things and then uh, move on. So that's what I think. That's just my judgment. People make different assessments, but I'd like to, uh, to think that at least those two factors will be on a lot of people's minds.